Today is sadly our last day on Kopp Island, so we decided to get up early at seven and took a private boat to Maya Bay. Maya Bay was definitely on our list of places to check out while we're here in Thailand, so we were all excited that we were able to go since the day before the weather was a bit rainy and the waves were a little dangerous, so we weren't able to go when we planned. But since we don't have to check out of our hotel until 11 and our ferry to Koh Lanta wasn't until shortly after that, we decided to just get up early and go this morning. So upon arrival, you basically get dropped off there at the entrance to the park and then you're able to walk through and go right to the beach. So since we're there in the off season, as well as going super early in the morning, we beat the crowds. So there weren't a lot of people there when we were there and we had the beach pretty much to ourselves. As one of the people were leaving, they told us that there's sharks in the water. So we could go up and see some of the baby sharks swimming around. So we went in and we did actually spot a few. I was able to capture it on camera by putting it underwater, but you can barely see it. Here you can see it swimming by. So after walking around the beach and just the park there, in Maya Bay, we went back to our private tour and the guide took us to the Viking cave, which you could see from the boat. We did pass all the amazing cliffs and it was really beautiful to see them up close because you can see them in the distance, no matter where you are on Kopipi Island or even the ferry that we took to get there but seeing them up close was pretty amazing. So our private tour did take us snorkeling after this before we headed back to our hotel, grabbed our bags and headed out. There you can see the Viking cave. The water is so clear, you can see the fish even just swimming, even looking over the edge of the boat. But going snorkeling was the most incredible experience. This is one of our highlights of the entire trip. The kids loved it so much. He kept throwing some bread into the water so the fish would come right up to us. Here you can see Ollie snorkeling. The kids had so much fun. You just kind of glide along the surface. It's not even deep or anything. You don't have to go far underwater. It's right on the surface. And there's Aria. She couldn't believe it. She put her head underwater and the fish were really close. She got a bit freaked out and got out, but then she did get back in later. I think she just got scared because they do get really close and you can touch them. But once she saw me and Ollie swimming around, she wanted to get in with us. It's really crazy how clear the water is. You can see right to the bottom. Here you can see if the tour guide threw bread into the water, they would come right to us. So we were just surrounded by so many fish, you couldn't even see past them.
since the waves weren't too bad this morning we were able to stay pretty close to the boat and the waves wouldn't take us out far away which was freaking me out the day before when we went snorkeling the water was pretty calm and we could just kind of stay in the water swim around those snorkeling masks are pretty awesome too because they don't let you go far underwater so they do let you basically float along the surface again since we're there so early in the morning we had the whole area to ourselves there were no other boats or anything near us so it was just us and we could take our time spend time in the water snorkel until we were ready to go we're so glad that we did end up getting up early on our last day here because it was the perfect way to spend our last moments before leaving Kopipi island it was one of the most beautiful places i've ever been to in the world we had so much fun snorkeling, seeing the sharks in Maya Bay, and just walking around in the park. It was just the perfect way to spend our last moments before heading out to Koh Lanta and leaving Kopipi Island. So we would highly recommend it. <laughs> 